Stars of Cassiopeia Cassiopeia is a constellation located in the northern night sky. It is easy to recognize by its distinctive M or W shape. There are five bright stars that form this shape called Segen, Rishba, Navi, Shida, and Kaf. Cassiopeia rotates around Polaris, the North Star, throughout the night and seasons. The Plough, or Big Dipper, also revolves around the North Star. These two star formations are like two fixed arms on a celestial clock. As Cassiopeia goes up, the Plough goes down, and vice versa. Being in such a rich star-dense area of sky, there are many deep sky objects that can be seen in this location. One of these deep sky objects is Andromeda Galaxy. In a dark sky, this can be seen with just your eyes. To find the location of this galaxy, notice that one half of the W has more of a V than the other half. This larger V is your arrow in the sky to find the Andromeda Galaxy. On a dark night, this galaxy looks like a faint patch of light. Through binoculars, it is easier to find and noticeably different to everything else around it. It is a wonderful moment when you realize that what you are looking at is our largest next door neighbor spiral galaxy. Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away and is, a, and is a barred spiral like our own Milky Way galaxy. It is larger than ours and is said to contain up to 1 trillion stars. Andromeda Galaxy is on the blue shift spectrum, which means it is moving towards us. In about 4 to 6 billion years, our galaxy and Andromeda will start to merge together. They will then form a giant elliptical galaxy, which has already been named Milkimeda or Andromeda Way. This type of merging is a common phenomena amongst galaxies. Other deep sky objects to be found near Cassiopeia are the Heart and Soul Nebulas. They are located near the star Segen. The Heart Nebula is a star-forming emission nebula. A nebula is an enormous cloud of dust and gas in space. Emission nebulas create their own light, and if star-forming, they give birth to new stars and are often called stellar nurseries. The Sol Nebula is also a star-forming emission nebula, and at about 7,500 light-years away, both the Heart and Sol Nebulas are galactic neighbours and are physically connected by a bridge of gas. There are many stories associated with the constellation Cassiopeia as a female figure, reindeer antlers, or a queen. One star story from the Native American Navajo people see Cassiopeia as Nahuka's Biad, the female revolving one, who is constantly revolving around the North Star. Nahakoshbika, the male revolving one, is seen as the Big Dipper who also turns around the North Star. The female revolving one exemplifies growth and regeneration and provides stability and strength necessary for harmony. The male revolving one is sympathetic and charismatic and provides a spiritual and physical protection. These two face each other in the night sky and move together as one as they revolve counterclockwise around Nahakosh Biko, the North Star. According to Navajo astronomy, Nahakosh Biko, the North Star, symbolizes the eternal light and the central fire. Because the star is always in the same position, it gives balance and guidance to all other stars in the sky. In Native American Cree tradition, a hunter called Pinoka, who was known for his skill, set out to find food for his village. He hoped to find an elk. Elders had told him of a great elk who was seen running. The hunter found large elk tracks and followed them to a small pool of water. The elk was drinking the water as the hunter moved closer. The hunter was able to quickly hunt the elk and with help was able to carry the elk back to the village. Everyone in the village wanted to honour this great elk, so they drew him in the sky with Cassiopeia representing his antlers. In Greek mythology, Cassiopeia is the vain queen who sits on a revolving chair. She is part of a Greek odyssey involving other nearby constellations, but this is a long story for another time. Now we are near the end. Next time you have a clear night, see if you can find the W or M shape of Cassiopeia in the northern night sky. The smaller V shape is made from the stars Rujba and Segen. From here, you can find the location of the heart and soul nebulas. These nebulas can only be seen with telescopes and are very popular with astrophotographers. From the star Shida, you will find the larger V that forms an arrow to Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy is the furthest object we can see in our night skies with just our eyes. 
from the Star Navi, we can find our way to the North Star. I would like to end with a short poem about this constellation by American poet Rebecca Bardelli. O oh Cassiopeia, I see you in the dark sky, shaped as the wings of a seagull, and a W so bright in the night, daring us to make wishes and spread our wings to fly. Good luck, and I hope this is helpful in finding these stars and the Cassiopeia constellation. Thank you for listening.